Hi there, everybody. Uh, it's been a little bit, and I apologize for that, but uh, we are here um, on our pendulum. Pendulum. Let. I'm sorry. It's really late right now. <laughs> uh, but, uh, anyways, our next to last mission here, and um, yeah, so uh, we should get to it. Hey. Has that always been me down there? Just hanging out? I just never noticed that before. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's do ship repair. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I saw the credits I had. I was like, whoa, 23,000 to repair? No, it's done. Repair complete. Has it really been that long since I played? Jeez. Um, let me double sh double check my equipment here. Um, this. Oh, this stuff. There we go. So, let me find as many as those as I can. Loaded into cargo hold. And as many as these guys as I can. Loaded into cargo hold. I think I'm doing okay. How am I doing on missiles? Missiles are okay. Countermeasures. I could probably use some of those. Loaded into cargo hold. So much this other stuff. Sell. Can't really sell that. Uh, yeah, I think I can be safe to get rid of some of this stuff. Sell you. 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 Okay. Um, let's head on that to space here. Well, actually, let's see. Play status. Where are we at right now? Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, I want the mission. There we go. Extract a nomad power cell from an unknown alien structure in the system. Uh, you have to use your tractor beam to get the needed power cell. Okay. Uh, <laughs> difficulty the attack on the nomad layer is a suicide mission. Thank you. Okay. All right. Actually, need ship dealer. Uh, landing deck. And uh, let's head on out. Meet Junian King in space outside the battleship Osiris. All right. Yeah. So this is probably like there's probably this is gonna be this episode. This um yeah this episode this video I guess. Um, and likely one after it. Here's our intel. Oh. Long-range scanners have picked up a nomad power source at the center of a giant structure. Oh, it's surrounded by a plasma cloud that prevents deeper scans. Are you detecting any nomads in the area? Negative. The structure appears to be abandoned, but keep your eyes open. I'm uploading the coordinates. Listen, the jump hole we used to get here is destabilizing. We have to take the Osiris through now. It will be stable enough for small ships, but not for long. You have to get the power source quickly and get out of here. Understood. All right, people. Let's do it. Trent, you take point. King and I will take flanking positions. All right. Where am I going? Remaining to jump hole collapse. Where am I heading to here? I hope this is the right way. It looks like I'm heading the right way. Uh, let's look at this again. So, is this like a scavenger hunt? Like, I don't actually... Okay, so I'm not being told where I have to go here. Right? Why is my waypoint not... Sh oh, wait, it's down here. It's hidden behind my UI. Oh my god, okay. That was a little bit rough. Eight minutes 
minutes remaining to jump hole collapse. Alright, now we're on the right track here. We're directly above the structure. No visuals yet. Look at the size of that thing. What the hell? Got a center. What the hell was that? Scanner's picking up massive readings. It's a truck. That thing is still alive. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I think I could skip this, right? Here's our intel. Long range scanners have picked up a nomad power source at the center of a giant structure. It's surrounded by a plasma cloud that prevents deeper scans. Are you detecting any nomads in the area? That was insane. Negative. The structure appears to be abandoned, oh. but keep your eyes open. I like I didn't even have a chance there. Listen. Like as soon as they opened fire on, open fire on me, I was just like, literally. Now. It will be stable enough for small ships, but not for long. You have to get the power source quickly and get out of here. Understood. All right, people, let's do it. Trent, you take point. Right. King and I will take flanking positions. There we go. remaining to jump hole collapse. We're directly above the structure. No visuals yet. Look at the size of that thing. I'm not slowing down for jack shit this time. What the hell was that? The scanner's picking up massive readings. It's a truck! That thing is still alive! Damn, Intel was wrong. Nomads! They're everywhere! The power cell seems to be inside a central chamber. Looks like the only way in is through the vents on the top of the structure. Oh. Right. We've got to bring that shield down first. Trent, right, I'm uploading go. the coordinates to you. The generators are located on the perimeter. They have to go down before you can enter. Remaining to jump hole collapse. Slide with the Just keep 
I hear you, I hear you. Six minutes remaining to jump. Take a little while to take these guys out. I don't wanna waste all my missiles on them. Don't know when I get a chance to restock. Slow it down. Oh damn, I can. This better work. That's pretty cool. Very weird looking. Did I find a sweet spot here? I think it did. Yeah, nothing shoot me here. Five minutes remaining to jump hole collapse. I got a feeling I want to go back up to the top to get inside. Probably going to need a little bit more resistance. here, right? Four minutes remaining to jump hole collapse. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Danger. Trent, we're running out of time. The jump hole is starting to collapse and... Judy, on your six. Bank hard right. I can't shake Exit him! structure. That was interesting. Oh, Jesus. It's those damn destroyer things. Trent, thank God you're all right. We're surrounded. The more we shoot down, the more they keep coming. Trent, the jump hole is closing fast. King and I are on our way out. Go! Okay, let's do some repairs. We're there pulling we up at your 4 and 8, Trent. Let's get out of here. I already said that once. Three minutes remaining to jump hole collapse. Okay. Containment leak. Hole buckling. Whoa. Osiris, this is Junie. We got the power cell and are heading home. Do you copy? Junie, your signal is breaking up. Aurelian, come in! Do you copy? Over! Damn it! Something's jamming our frequencies! Oh boy. Okay. Damn it. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Pretty interesting. King, Trent, inbound at 12 o'clock high. For every spirit, there's a proper place in hell. What? Von Clausen. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Nomad ships, alright. Uh, we already got a couple of them, huh?
Whoa. I don't know what that was. Another one of those guys. Toledo, huh? We have to leave before they return. Head to Toledo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To figure out where we we're going first. Why are we going so slow? Trent, give more power okay. to Okay, well, those no edge ships, I mean, yeah, they, they totally wreck your shields, but... I don't know. They weren't that difficult. Toledo docking ring. We have reports that the Kosari fleet has been defeated near New Tokyo. No! The nomads are now freely roaming throughout the colonies. They've begun their attack on Britonia. Nothing can stop them now. Alrighty. Let's hope the artifact will. Professor Quintain has everything prepared. Land on Toledo. <sighs> the Order Base. Power cells in the hold, guys. Take it directly to Dr. Quintain in the artifact lab. <laughs> that was a little too close. Uh, next time, listen to your old pal King and uh, say no. As you know, Dr. Quintain and I have poured through the translations from the panels, the Proteus Tome, and even the stolen data from the prison ship. It seems that Dom Kavash had a vast empire long before man ever evolved. So if these guys were so much more advanced than us, where are they now? We don't know, Mr. Trent. There's no evidence to suggest any kind of war or disease or natural disaster that may have done away with them. They just vanished leaving behind the nomads. It seems nomads, or whatever they were really called, we can't pronounce the name yet, they were apparently created by the Dom Kavash to, well, look after things. We're fighting the caretakers? Well, in a manner of speaking. They are opportunistic parasites, not only of human beings, but of technology as well. Which brings us to the artifact. 
The dam Kavosh had an amazingly advanced technology that was only partially based in these delicate formations. They used them for power, shields, uh, this one is a, uh, well, we'll show you. Kendra? I discovered that if the computer sounded out the phonetic representation of the glyphs in a particular order... Please, Doctor, in deference to those of us who are simple politicians. Very well. That would be us. The artifact knows where it is in space at all times. It's a map. But of what? Well, it's just a theory, but... Spit it out, Doctor. From what we now know, with an empire as large as the Dam Kavosh, they couldn't rely on simple jump gates like we have today. They had to develop something more sophisticated. A vast array of hypergates, linking the far corners of their empire via one incredibly fast system for travel. This device is not only the map, it's the trigger, a key to reawakening the system. Are you suggesting we turn this thing on? Yes. If we can reactivate the hypergates, we'll break the hold of the nomads on their power supply and cut them down to a more manageable size, in theory. Every key is a lock, Doctor. Where do we find this one? There. Mr. Trent. Me? Yes, you. I want you and Zane to spearhead this effort. Ah, oh, new mission. Understood. Fly into the Nomad home system and activate the Hypergate system. Difficulty to attack on the Nomad home world is another suicide mission. Reward. This is not about money. It's about the survival of mankind. Aurelian offers you one of his one of the highly sophisticated order, order heavy fighters as a reward. Uh, the dealers on Toledo will give you whatever you desire. A new ship, weapons, shield. Really? Just give them to me? Accept. All right. I've come this far. I may as well see it through. What's going on? Nomad, sir. A whole fleet of them. Prepare ships for intercept. Aye, sir. Damn it. They must have followed us. We have to evacuate. Everybody to their ships. Take only what you need. Trent, Junie. We have to buy some time. Okay. All right. So now how do we turn this tinker toy into a weapon? Free? This is what I currently have. Armor 3600. Definitely better. Yeah. Okay. We'll do the Anubis Heavy Fighter then. Ship. I'm assuming I still have to pay for that, right? Let's see what I got here. Ship purchase complete. Um, what? I guess not. Okay. Repair complete. Oh, Death's Hand. Uh. Most effective against positron shields and weakest against graviton shields, huh? I mean, I like a, what I got for a lot of my stuff here. Uh, it's 
this guy. Uh, it's a shorter effective range than most energy weapons. This weapon is most effective against molecular shields, weak against positron shields. Uh, do I have anything weak against? Let's see. Effective. Okay, so lunar type. This guy. Okay. Um. Yeah. Effective. Let's do this. Let's do this guy. Um. Effective against positron shield. Are there other other MKs? Nothing I'm interested in though. Okay. Um. Uh, positron shields, weak against graviton shields. Uh... Okay, so activate that and give me this guy. Bye. Alright. Good on that front. Uh, does this guy have a turret? It does. Okay. So. Which of these ones are the better ones? Range. So you don't have all these things that one. All damage per shot, one on one. You like this one, buy that one. Um, I don't give a shit about that. Did it take away my missiles? No, there they are. Okay. Moonstalker, class 5, I already have that. Okay. Uh, let's check this stuff. Once again, buy all those guys. I need any of those. Good on that. Let's check this. Into cargo hold. Okay, this is thirty-one forty-three. I actually got the better of those. That's good. And. You can always use some more of these guys. Bye. And bye. Okay. I think I'm pretty well outfitted Loaded here. Into cargo hold. Whoa. Loaded into cargo hold. So it's looking like I may not do another video. I think the, the last mission I did before this one was fairly short, so I'm just going to leave these all in the same video here. Um, but yeah, let's see here. We're doing it. We're flying to the Nomad Helm home system. This should be interesting. Sounds like it packs a bit of a wallop, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Colonel Zane, this is Beta Leader. A large nomad ship just uncloaked in our sector. Acknowledged. 
I bet it's the base they're launching from. All units, concentrate your fire on the Nomad battleship. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Understood. We're going in. Definitely taking down my shield, some fears. We lost Alpha 2! Oh god. We're engaging the battleship. I can't make out a command center. What is our primary target? Beta Wing, concentrate your fire on the engines. Right. Alpha Wing, take out those turrets. Shields get regenerated here.
Oh my god. to the artifact. It should work now. All you need to do is activate it in the right location. What's the status out there? It's unbelievable. The nomads are constantly getting reinforcements. We won't be able to hold them off much longer. This is it. Everybody to their ships. Trent, Judy, escort the freighter with Quintain and Sinclair. All set, sir. Our forces will meet in the Nebula field on the far side of the system. Fly directly to the rallying point in the nebula. Trent and I will provide you cover. Uh, so basically the same situation. Okay. Sad. I don't really have much as far as equipment goes. Well, we'll see what happens. Game save. Colonel Zane, we're approaching the Osiris. Okay, this is it. Go ahead and land, Trent. I'll meet up with you on the deck. Where is everyone? The briefing's already started. Let's go. Is everyone clear on their assignments? Uh -huh. Okay, then. Ah, Trent. Junko. Good, you've arrived. We're just now discussing our attack plan. Long-range scans have detected a nomad jump gate in the area that will lead us to our final destination. We'll fly there through the Badlands, which should give us some cover from the nomad attacks. We'll enter the jump gate and fly into what we think is the nomad homeworld. 
Once there, we'll have to improvise. We'll break into four attack groups. Trent, you will lead Alpha Team. I'll lead Beta, and Colonel Zane will head up Gamma. A group of heavy bombers will maintain a holding pattern until we can clear them a path. Any questions? Okay, let's go. All right. See you in space. Let's get them. Let's go. Herr von Clausen, you're coming with us? Yes, I am. We must still drive the nomads from our worlds and avenge those we have lost. I'm going with you because I owe them something. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good luck. Do us all. Oh, one last time here, huh? Alright. Me there. I figured that l the last mission we had there was going to be the last one, but yeah, that was not the case. Repair complete. Go through these things like candy. Loaded into cargo hold. I don't think there's... Loaded into cargo hold. Yeah, I think I have just about everything I need. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, same, 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 same. Okay. Before the storm. That is a hell of a jump gate. I see the gate. There it is. Look at that thing. I'm not picking up any ships. Keep your eyes open. The nomads are bound to know we're coming. There! A nomad battleship! Right, let's do this. All fighters, engage the nomads. There too, or not? It's actually about to explode. Yeah, that one is way easier than the last one. Gigantic. All ships head for the barrier. 
Wow. Where are they going? damage or, uh, at all so I got closer. Something's just eating away at me here. Let's get out of here. Proceed through the opening. Trent, you and your wing go first. 
direction, all right? Jet, Whoa. Fly through the opening in the barrier. We'll follow you. Wow, look at this place. It looks like the nomads built a complete shell around this sun. Incredible. It's similar to the old theory of a Dyson Sphere. It allows the nomads to harvest all energy coming from that sun. What do we do now? Whatever it is, it's massive. Uploading coordinates. All units, proceed to King's coordinates. Trent, this could be your target. More nomad ships! Here they come! Trent, Judy, take your wings and proceed to the structure ahead. King, go with them. All of the units, stay here and engage the I nomads. I got a feeling here. Right, it's up to us. Let's put an end to these nomads. Watch it for all. These nomads like their shields. It's a city. A giant nomad city. I'm reading a strong energy field Guessing around the structure. Around right we have now. to find a way to disable it. Alright. Seems to work, huh? Like I'm protected on all sides here. <laughs> they can't hit me. Well, this works out for me. I know how to effectively Good take shot, these Trent. things out now. Damn it. No effect yet. Take out another one. Whoa, I did not do anything to that. Oh, whoa. You did it! The shield is coming down! That was easy as shit. Good work there, Trent. Trent? Good job. Trent. I'm picking up an energy surge from your ship. 700 rills and rising. Trent, it's the artifact. Something's gone wrong. 900 rills. It's too dangerous. Trent, jettison that thing before it blows. 2500 rills. No, I'm already committed. We only got one shot at this. Trent! Home, Trent. Home? And where 
where's that now? Manhattan, Trent. He could do a lot of good there. Home in Manhattan. <laughs> you know, it doesn't sound so bad now. Gotta get that sidewinder fang. Get a good sidewinder fang. Let's go. It's been nearly two weeks since hostilities between Rhineland and the other houses came to an abrupt end, and peace has settled over the colonies. Despite many lingering questions, government officials remain tight-lipped about what has triggered this sudden change. In other news, LSF commander Junko Zane and freelancer Edison Trent, both former enemies of the state, have been granted full pardons and have received the Lone Star for Bravery, the highest decoration any individual in the colonies can receive. Liberty Ale, mister? No, thanks. I never told you. I asked the bartender about you the day we met. You did, did you? Mm-hmm. Sorry I'm late. The debriefing took longer than usual. I guess you can't rush the president. Or amnesty. Not to mention the generous reward. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Oh, really, Ian? Let me tell Junie you're here. No, Colonel Trent. Even with the colonies rebuilding, and the contaminated human population restored to normal, the threat isn't over. For now, it's better I stay less well-known. I just wanted to see if you would consider a proposition. What sort of proposition? To be the eyes and ears of the Order here in Liberty. Think about it. Enjoy your vacation, freelancer. I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Casper. Trent, let me introduce Mr. Harrison, our newest diplomat. Mr. Harrison, Edison Trent. Edison? What an unusual name. Uh, call me Trent. Wow. That is it. Mission result success. Um, okay. Find a job. So yeah, I guess from this point forward, um, my compatriot, uh, Madcap, has informed me that uh, it's basically open world game at this point, and you can go around and do whatever you want to. Toodle about the galaxy, so to speak. Um, so, okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's save my game here. Uh, save one, actually, here. Uh, end game. Okay, that's better. Um, let's go main menu. Yeah, so... Traditionally, when I finish a game, I, uh... like to do the credits. There we go. Like, I... So... Okay, so my overall feelings of Freelancer is this is actually a really, really great game. Um, and it's really sad that this thing has been kind of lost. Like, you just can't get this on current services anywhere. Uh, you really have to work hard to get this game to play it. And that's really kind of a shame. Uh, and uh, Matt, my friend Madcap, uh, he's told me uh, many times over the years that I've known him now that uh, he really wishes that somebody would do something with this property again. Uh, and I can see why. It's It's got a lot of potential to it. Um, just, yeah, it, I don't... It, it's just a really, really well-made game uh, all around, uh, from voice acting to story to... Uh, uh, man, uh, just the, the graphics, just everything came together really well. The controls, like, just were pretty much pitch perfect. Like, I'm not a huge space combat, aerial combat type guy, and I really think that they nailed that with this game, where, like, or they found that very sweet spot where you could be good um, at the controls and not feel like... I don't know, like, overburdened by a lot of it. I mean, there was a lot of tactics that I didn't use. Like, I never strafed, uh, even though that was there. 
Um, but uh, I, I feel like like this is the perfect game for for the layman like me and somebody that's more experienced with these type of games like Mad Cat. Uh, we could both get something out of it. So I, th I think I really I really appreciate it for that as well. Um, yeah, just as and just as an overall experience, it was a very a very pleasing experience. I think uh, from beginning to end. Yeah, I had some problems here and there, but you know what game doesn't have its problems. Uh, uh, overall, I I just yeah I I'm very happy that I got to finally play this. Um, and uh, hopefully, anybody that's followed me this entire way. Like, I didn't drive you too crazy by doing stupid things or didn't do certain things the way you might have done them. Because, I mean, let's face it, everybody has their own play style, right? Uh, and, uh, yeah, um, anything I would have to say negative about the game, just the ending here, like, it felt a little bit too easy uh, compared to everything that came before it. Like, I really was expecting some sort of epic showdown, and... I think I had more epic battles before that, which made it a little bit sad. And also, there was no real face to, I mean, there was no real enemy with this. Like, you gotta see a couple people possessed by the nomads, and that was it. Like, I really feel like there should have been some sort of, like, omnipresent being or something, or we got to see, like, I don't know like the leader or the, the somebody that was the that we can identify as like oh this is the this is the enemy and most of that just came, comes from the nomads uh, you know armada uh, and I, I mean I understand it's a, it's a space shooter and stuff but I mean, we definitely have a lot of characters human characters we had identify with outside of the space sim stuff and um I really would have liked some sort of indication of who or what these aliens are. Uh, I mean, we got to see them a couple times and that's it, so... I felt like it was a little bit, um, lacking in that department, I guess. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, so, uh, man, we still got credits here. Um, not sure what else to say at this point. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to sign off now and I'm going to let the credits end. And uh, yeah, so until next time, everybody out there, as usual, take it easy.